Welcome to PC Simplest. Today we're talking about cookies. And you're like, hmm, I love cookies. They're delicious. I'm pretty sure the cookie monster would probably agree with you on that too. But unfortunately, we're not talking about those type of cookies. Today we're talking about our internet cookies. And this is a very frequent question that I get asked pretty pretty often, I would say. And one of those is, what are cookies? What do they do? How do I delete them? So what are cookies? Cookies are little bits and pieces of data that get stored on your computer through your internet browser when you go to specific websites. Websites are always sending, sending data back and forth to your computer in the form of cookies, essentially. And it's just little, you know, data bytes that just relate to what website you're going to, kind of the content that you have. They, like I said, they store little bits and pieces of just, you know, random information that just associate your specific computer to the specific website that you're going to. Are these cookies good? Are they bad? Well, the answer pretty much is they're okay. You know, you can't really say yes or no if they're good or bad. Some cookies aren't the best because they might track too much data or stay in your system longer than they should, especially when they're doing some type of tracking as far as referral stuff. And again, that might be a little bit complicated for you, but mostly cookies are okay. If you go to like, you know, check your email every day or your Facebook every day, stuff like that, and it stores, you know, random bits and pieces of that information, just saying that, You've been to this website before on this computer. You know, let's load this website a little bit faster because we stored some of this data. We have, you know, some of your username information saved, stuff like that. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't want to say more than I should because I don't want to confuse anybody. But overall, cookies are all right. You don't have to worry about them too much. But it's always a great idea to clean them out as often as you can or as often as you feel like you, you know, you need to. If you visit a lot of websites frequently, you know, just clean it out once a week or something. No big deal. It's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to talk about how we delete these cookies. So what we're going to do is go ahead and open up our Internet Explorer here. And what we're going to do is look for tools. If you have your menu bar enabled, you'll have tools. If you don't, you should see a grinding gear that also is your tools. And we'll just click on that. And we'll just do Internet Options. And from our General tab here, you should see Browsing History. And you'll see under this, it says delete temporary files, history, cookies, save passwords, and web form information. So temporary files are essentially temporary files that get stored on your computer from websites. Again, just saving random bits and pieces of data um, associated with that specific website talking to your specific computer. Um, the history is just like kind of pretty much how it sounds. If you have a lot of history um, in your browser where, you know, you go to Google every day, you go to MSN every day, you go to Yahoo every day, you go to Facebook every day, all that stuff shows up in your history. So that, again, that's just stored bits and pieces of data saying that you've been to this website, you know, four days ago, you've been to this website, you know, seven days ago, etc. Cookies, we talked about the cookies. Save passwords. So... When you're going to do this, if you save your passwords on the websites that you frequent, like Facebook, when you go to delete this, you're going to have to make sure that you enter in your username and password again. So please make sure that you remember what your passwords are before you do this, because there's no going back. So again, make sure you know your passwords, people. The next thing it says, and web form information. So if you fill out a lot of forms online, and you you know have that saved in any way where you know you go to type in your name in a web form for some type of application or you know maybe like a submit form for like more user information stuff like that when you as soon as you type in your name it'll give you an option or a drop down and you click on your name and it'll autofill everything for you well that's what this is so again when you go to delete this keep in mind that the next form that you fill out you'll have to re-enter all that information not a big deal so the next thing we have here is that we can check this box to, box to delete browsing history. Sure, why not? If you don't want to delete your browser history, you don't have to. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and hit delete. We check the box, hit delete. Now it's going to pop up with this box. So we can actually pick and choose what we would like to delete or not delete. Um, my recommendation is to typically just delete everything because you want to keep your system safe you want to keep your your system clean of clutter 
So just go ahead and click everything. Again, make sure that you you know, have your favorites and stuff saved so you're not like going back through your history trying to find what you need to you know, look for. If there's stuff in your history that you think you need to add as a favorite, go ahead and do that now. Deleting all this stuff will not affect your favorite websites that you have saved on your computer. It only will affect the, your history of websites that you've been to. So anyway, once we have everything selected, we just go ahead and hit delete. And depending on how much stuff you actually use with your internet and stuff, it, it shouldn't take too long. So once that's done, we can hit apply, OK. And now everything is pretty much deleted. We have our cookies deleted and you know our saved passwords and all that stuff. So we're keeping our system you know, free of clutter, uh, cleaned up as much as we can. And you know, it, it should, your system actually might run maybe a little bit better. I'm not going to guarantee that. But sometimes it, it could happen depending on if you have a lot of data saved and you've never deleted your cookies or any of the stuff that we just went through. So I hope, you know, that I gave you kind of a quick rundown. Again, I don't want to throw too much information at you, confuse you, or scare you, or anything like that. But that's just a common question that I get related to cookies and stuff like that. So if you have any questions or comments, concerns, please feel free to comment on my YouTube channel. As always, check us out at PCSimplest.com. Subscribe to us. We'd love to have you. And enjoy the rest of my videos. Check them out, please. Have a great day. Thank you for watching.